Hey gamers, this is John, host of Video Games in the World, and this is a Halloween playthrough, Super Castlevania 4, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it looks like this year I'm on a Castlevania frenzy. And ladies and gentlemen, about Super Castlevania 4, this is one of my most favorite titles of the franchise. Don't get me wrong, I love Symphony of the Night as well. Now, Super Castlevania 4, you could say that it's like a remake of the original Castlevania video game. 16-bit graphics, a more expanded storyline with, with all these stages and stuff before you enter the castle. Nice. So, this is the intro. And this game was originally released for the Super Nintendo in 1991. Yeah, lame Dracula impersonation, but this is Halloween, ladies and gentlemen, because another Halloween is slowly creeping up on us once again. And Dracula just has just been resurrected by the Wicked. Here comes a storyline. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. Yep, the Belmonts were always fighting him in Castlevania. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. Yeah, because before Simon Belmont, there was Christopher. But now the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. Leon, Trevor, Christopher, Simon. On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Once again, Simon Belmont is up called upon to destroy Dracula. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Good luck, Simon Belmont. So, here are the Belmonts in order. There's Leon, Trevor, Christopher, Simon, Juiced, Richter, Reinhard Schneider, Quincy Morris, Jonathan Morris, Julius Belmond, and that's it. Okay, let's put on my name. You don't have to put your name if you don't want to, but I will for mine. Ah, uh, the good old intro of Simon, ready to kick some ass with that whip of his. When a problem comes along, you must whip it. Whoopsh, whip it good. I just love the designs in this game, folks. The designs, everything about this game. Simon Belmont, who doesn't love it? So badass and real kick ass. So, this is the first stage, ladies and gentlemen Entrance and Stables. So, we all know that, that the gameplay of, Castle, of Super Castlevania is pretty much the same. 
two upgrades for your whip, some weapons, killing monsters, but still, nevertheless, an awesome video game. <laughs> I still remember that 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 He-Man look of the original game, the, the cover of the original Castlevania game for the NES. And also, The Walking Dead just premiered, and I really enjoyed the episode tonight, folks. Just in time for Halloween. And of course, and, and, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you got all, all the costumes. And remember, disguise yourself as, as who you want. Don't let the sensitivity mob tell you otherwise. I forgot to mention that th this also has double tablets and the triple one for triple and double attack for double and triple attacks. Also, what I love about Super Castlevania 4 is that it also has, like, secret areas in which you can get more hearts, more money to earn, earn points, and, and also earn lives as well. Horse's head. Most of the Medusa heads are the most hated enemies in Castlevania. Because, you know, from the pit of my stomach, I just can't stand them. Okay. So we're gonna fight the, our first boss, which is a, a mounted skeleton. your mount now, buddy. Uh-oh. Not falling for that. And you stole that move from Link, buddy. And now it's time for me to wrap this up. Stage 1 beaten, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. So, coming next is the second stage. The Swamp. Till next time, gamers. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Later.